Yeah, well, the evening, guys. The uh, oh, it's obviously really disappointing. Uh, obviously, uh, I think I think the ultimately we uh, got to take responsibility as manager. Probably picked the wrong team in terms of the amount of freshness that we we put in the team. It was obviously a. Uh, we, we look leggy, we look fatigued at the end of a, uh, of a really tough week. Uh, and I take responsibility for that, but ultimately we, we, we've, still, we've still got to do better in the game. Uh, going down to 10 men left us with a mountain to climb, really. Uh, probably lucky not to go down to 10 men a little bit sooner than that. I thought Nico was probably a little bit uh, lucky not to get sent off before that. So uh, it's a disappointing night. Uh, we, we, we've got to move on very fast. We're, we're now in the sort of like the, the home straight where you can't dwell on defeats. We've been on a great run. We've shown great attitudes and fight and determination and quality. Tonight was was one where we didn't probably show those qualities that we'd been showing. So we 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 accept uh, the defeat. New York New York Red Bulls were the best team. Uh, they, they they totally totally dominated the game. And uh, we now have got to make sure that we men mentally prepare for the game against Nashville to make sure that everybody's fit. And for those that might feel a little bit disappointed that they've not been getting opportunities, they better they better be ready to play, and they better be ready with the right attitudes, and they better be ready with the right focus to play, uh, because there's going to be opportunities. We've got Figal, we've got uh, LGP now missing for the next game, uh, and and we are. We are, you would say, down to the absolute bare bones, and uh, you know I'm not sure if we can call in any emergency players. Uh, something that we'll probably look into, but we we won't have Ventura or Shawcross ready for the game next week or for the foreseeable future. So we're going to have to make sure that we have players that are ready to uh, do the, do a job that they probably never done before, or uh, maybe we'll never do again. Uh, but that's something that we'll deal with tomorrow. If you have a question, please raise your hand. As a reminder, one question per turn. We're going to get started with Michelle, then Franco. Uh, Phil, did you have any sense that this game was going to be anything like this before the game? I mean, did you have any bad feelings? And also, why do you think so many yellow cards? Why so much frustration there in the first half? Well, and that's where I've got to take responsibility. Sometimes when... <clears throat> You know, fatigue. Fatigue causes you to do things. Probably, not, you know, frustration when you're tired. You know, you know yourself. If you're tired, you tend to hit out, hit, hit out. Probably at those closest to you sometimes. Uh, so I'd say that that's where I've got to take full responsibility. I, I've been thinking for the last two days about the amount of freshness that we needed in the team, uh, and and we made the decision today to go with the players that we did. But ultimately, it was the, it was probably the wrong decision, and uh, we needed freshness in certain areas to give us that ability to compete. And uh, I would say that uh, in terms of the, 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 the three centre-backs, I, th I thought LGP and Christian, especially when they went to a back four, I thought they, they, they were fantastic the way that they defended for their lives. But ultimately, we, those were the three positions, plus Lewis. I took Lewis off at half-time just to rest him because the boy's just been running and running and running for the last eight months. Uh, and it was a good time to just take him off and give him a breather. Uh, but the back three was a, was was we had no options to, to to change to rotate to freshen up and and ultimately that's probably why you saw the the, the yellow cards and the red card. Next question, Franco. Thank you. Phil, obviously the the final result is is not not pretty. No. Um, but in the first half, even before the red card, you guys were getting pretty outplayed. Is that just due to fatigue, or is this a continuation of? We've seen some poor performances as of late. You guys have been getting the results, finding ways, but the performance haven't been there. You've said you haven't been happy with some of them. Is this is this concerning because it's uh, an extension of the, these type of poor performances, or do you just chalk it up to the? Well, I'm, I'm not concerned because uh, we, I think we've won the last six, so uh, I'm not concerned. I think I think it was it was we looked leggy, we looked we looked heavy legged, uh, you know, and 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 the, and the minds didn't look sharp. And that's something that we need to work on over the next few days is getting them really mentally, mentally ready to play again. And uh, you know, we, we, we've had a we've had a tough stretch. I've got to say, we've had uh, we've had a tough stretch this week. You know, but so has New York Red Bulls. Uh, you know, and and they showed their qualities. And, and I thought in the first half they were they were really, really they had all the energy. Their front players caused us problems uh, with their energy. And, and, and we didn't really try and we didn't get hold of the ball or, or try and have any control whatsoever. So uh, that was it, really. Next question, Laura. 
Thanks, Rafa. Yeah. Phil, another game on Wednesday. What did you say to the guys in the locker room after the game in order to get them ready for the next match? Well, I think we're going to allow them 24 hours to feel sorry for themselves. And, and then and on Sunday morning when we're back in training, we've just got to get back at it. We've got to get back on the treadmill and work and run and, and fight even harder than what we've that what we did tonight. It, it's it's hopefully it's a one off. Uh, we've had moments like this in this season where we've we've had these types of performances, but 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 I'm sure that this is just a one off because of the fact that we've been on such a good run. The confidence is high. We've we've got momentum. There's going to be plenty of uh, twists and turns left in this season, and. Uh, you know, it, it's it's a reality check to, for us all to keep our feet on the ground, for our supporters to keep our feet on the ground, for everybody in the club to keep their feet on the ground, that we've still got a lot of work to do. And nobody's just going to come and hand us a playoff place without us working really hard. And, and, and we're going into the home straight and we're in a really, really good position to attack the home straight. We just need to be mentally ready now and mentally fresh. Last two questions, Javier and then Dairon. Um Are you concerned uh, because of the inconsistency of the team? Inconsistent in terms of what we've just won yeah. the last six games. Six and the the score again uh, four zero uh, in home. Do you have any concern about it? Well, I think I think if you're saying a team's inconsistent, they win, they lose, they win, they draw. We've just been winning, so I, I think I think maybe maybe your interpretation of inconsistent is a little bit different to mine. I think we've been very consistent. Tonight was hopefully just a one-off. If you'd have asked me two months ago, I would say we were really inconsistent. But I think I think your question probably is probably two months too late in terms of I think we've shown incredible consistency over the last eleven games. So, uh, no. Next question, Dairon. Final question. Thank you, Rafa. Uh, Phil, <coughs> you were talking about the the fatigue in, in the team. And you needed more freshness, but I wanted to ask you about the tactical approach. Uh, do you think it was the right one? I don't know. I, I, I saw during the game, most of the time, New York pressing in the midfield and Inter Miami not being able to, to break that line. Uh, so I wanted to actually ask you about that. The tactical approach, do you think that it was the right one uh, watching the game now? No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It didn't work. It didn't work because we didn't find the we didn't find the spare players. We didn't find the creativity to to outnumber them in certain areas where we found success in in previous games. So so that's where you you know you've got to think about the the uh, the responsibility of us to try and find another way of, of creating dominance on the pitch. We had we had dominance probably into the, the the control that we had was through our goalkeeper, but we couldn't get control in the centre of the pitch or in or in the areas where we wanted to hurt them. Uh, I don't think we caused their centre backs really that many problems, apart from maybe a header in the first half from a free kick. I think it was Robbie that probably should have scored, but apart from that, we didn't really create that much. Uh, but ultimately, we didn't create that much in terms of dominance and control of the game. Uh, you know, they won all the second balls, and we just weren't in the correct positions to dominate the game in and out of possession. And that's something we we go to their stadium in a month's time. I think 9th of October, we need to be really better. We need to be better. Thank you, Phil. Thanks, guys. Good night, guys.